life be without the light bulb? Hi, my name is Thomas Edison. You may know me as the father of invention. Without my ideas, the world would not have many of the things they rely on every day. And light bulb. I was married twice and had six kids. I was a much better inventor than a family man. Later in my career, I had some failures, but my passion was My parents were Samuel and Nancy Edison. My father was a sailor and carpenter and a tailor. My mother was educated. Educated. Educated and taught school as a teen. I was getting into some trouble and <laughs> I was losing my hearing and sometimes could not hear the teacher after the teacher said I did not belong in school. My mother taught me at home when I was 12 years old. I was selling goods on board a train. When I was 15, I wanted people to call me Tom. One day when I was watching the telegrapher do his work, I had an idea I could use the telegraph to advertise my goods and I had different jobs a telegrapher. Almost right always I transformed the Telegraph industry. My mind soon wanted more, and by 21, I opened my own laboratory where I could experiment and create all I wanted. I went to work and never stopped, really stopped. First, I worked on the telephone, which at the time was a um, unusable and with my art art articulating articulating telephone they were no oh, available to be used by everyone next was the telegraph which paved the way for record players which lead to CDs. Next was the biggest achievement of my career. The in constraint incandescent light bulb from then on the public viewed me as a big celebrity. I mean star. People wanted me in pictures. <laughs> And everyone wanted to know actually what I was doing. Over the next several years, I invented what would be known as a voice recorder. The movie, that's not the movie camera. And, and even the first films, me. And then James are too many to name them all. In my later years, I retired, which meant I could spend my time in my laboratory working on whatever I wanted. I died on October 18, 1931.
of old age at 84. I spoke my last word to my wife. It was very beautiful of me. I lived to create and my legacy lives on in my accomplishments. <laughs> I held many patents. The most important were the light bulb, collection ride, phonograph, and voice recorder. Without the work I did, the world would not, would you know, would be very different.